Rider. And uh, I've got some gripes. I've got some gripes. Um, as some of you who have been following me know, I uh, switched over to the whole Cena backpack GoPro connection thingadoodle because uh, it goes so well with my uh, Cena headset the uh, SMH-10. And one of the things that I've found... Ooh, one of the things I've found is that uh, it's very, very comfortable setup. It is. It's a very comfortable setup. There's only one mic I have to deal with, which is fantastic. And, uh, yeah, it saves, saves space, saves time trying to get everything in place when I put my helmet on and hope that one thing's not blocking the other and something's not pulling the wiring out of here or there and everywhere, whatever. But I've been having an issue lately, and I'm not sure whether it's coming from the Cena backpack, the Cena SMH10, or my iPhone 6 Plus. Now, this typically only happens when I am on highway, if I'm traveling between states or whatever. Actually, no, that's not true. It actually happened on the Long Island Expressway, so excuse me. It happens when I'm on the highway. Um, I'll be just getting some footage. I'm not talking or anything. Just, you know, recording the ride because that's what I do. It's good for insurance purposes. But then, you know, I'll want to call my wife. Or, you know, I want to make a call out to anybody, so... I hit my little button to connect to the phone, and I tell Siri, Siri, call my wife, and Siri's like, oh, I'm going to call your wife, and then, boom, dead silence. Dead silence. And then, I don't get anything. Anything. I don't get to make the call. If I happen to be using my GPS... My GPS instructions, uh, they go away. I get nothing. So I turn off my headset, and I turn it back on, and it reconnects to stuff. And then I'm golden. I get some stuff back. Now... I don't know how well that works with the GPS because a couple of times I've been riding, not trying to call anybody, and my GPS instructions will just disappear. I look at my phone, GPS is still running, and it's recalculating because I've gone well past where I needed to be because I didn't hear anything. So I don't know whether it's an issue with the Cena product or the Apple product. But I'd like to just, uh, you know, put this out there. Apple. Cena. Come over to my place for a barbecue. We'll sit down 
and we'll discuss what's going on with this stuff. Let's see if we can make it work together a little bit better so that things like this don't happen to, to me or other people. Because just imagine you're out on the road and you're trying to get somewhere and you've got your camera running and you've got your headset on and your instructions are gone and you, you know, you're just going because you're waiting to hear and it said, yeah, the last instructions were to go 25 miles in that direction. But you're enjoying the scenery and not really paying attention to your odometer and you just happen to drive off a cliff. I know that's slightly improbable, but it could happen. Let's get some air in here. When you're not moving, I don't get no air. Um, so yeah, Cena, Apple, come on over. We'll make this work. Love my iPhone, love my SMH10, love my backpack. I'm even digging the Gropo. The, oh shit, <laughs> I just said Gropo. Oh. Gropo. <gasps> I'm gonna go Gropo ho. Now, um, I'm even digging my GoPro. Another issue I have, and this is with you, Apple, now that I've mentioned GoPro, uh, I've done some stuff where I'm recording at uh, 1080p at 60 frames a second, and for some reason, iMovie won't let me put it up on anything but 720 because it can't handle the 60 frames per second, even though it is perfectly capable of handling the 1080p. This is annoying. Please, think about us, will you? The next patch you put out, little something to handle that uh, 60 frame thing. It would be a huge help. A huge, huge help. Because just imagine, you're putting up video footage and it's at 1080p at 60 frames per second and you don't realize that it's going to get knocked down to 720p when you go to share the video or, or make a file out of it and when you do all of a sudden out of nowhere everything that you did that was so crisp and so clear just comes out looking normal and muddy and you drive off a cliff. Now, I know it's slightly improbable, but it could happen. Now, my other issue, since we're talking about 1080p, YouTube. YouTube. I have had some videos that have gone up where I'm looking at it on my screen, and it is freaking beautiful. I'm talking about freaking beautiful. It's so nice and pretty. It may not be at the 60 frame per second, but it might be at the 30 frame per second. Now, my issue here is doing that 30 frame per second should still be nice and crisp and beautiful, right? Well, there are times I'll look at this stuff on YouTube and somehow it's all pixelated every once in a while and it's kind of nasty looking and I'm upset. I'm upset. Now just imagine you have this beautiful, beautiful video, great quality, and you upload it for the world to see. And then when they get there, it's all icky and poo-poo and pixelated and yucky, and it causes you to drive off a cliff. Now, that's uh, slightly improbable, but it could happen. So, Google, YouTube, Apple, Cena, my place, barbecue, I'll make some ribs. Let's work this out. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs>
okay, I'm going to stop being ridiculous for like three seconds and say, this is the Beast Rider reminding you all to ride safe. Avoid imperial entanglements. And stay classy. I just said Gropo. Oh, Gropo. I'm gonna go Gropo.